This quick cam tutorial shows how to use JSON on XML with the tools. Disclaimer notice and obligatory legal safe harbor statement. The tutorial overview. We're going to introduce the use case in the background, show how to build a new exchange for JSON, uh, adding rules and validation, completing and testing the JSON exchange, and then being able to do a model, build your XSD schema and JAXB binding also. Welcome. We're going to show you how to use the CAM editor and the CAM validation engine uh, with JSON. So the first thing we're going to do is create a new uh, validation template from a JSON source. And in this case, we're going to use uh, the EPA have a chemical release annual uh, document that they have uh, in JSON. So we've downloaded that. We're going to select that. And so that's built our base template and now we have to save it so uh, epa chemicals and we'll save that in temp and as you can see here uh, we've got records for each of the components uh, that we pulled in and if we have a quick look in here we can see some differences. The facility site here has the program uh, set of components uh, replicated and down here there aren't any. So what we need to do here is simply go ahead and delete out all these ones here that we don't need. So I selected the first one, hit shift and then delete these items. So what we want to create is a uh, model structure for the actual uh, information that we have here. So uh, we know that this program information here is duplicated, so we're just going to go ahead and get rid of uh, the second one. And now we want to flag this as repeatable and also optional and then the facility site itself again I want to use the pop-up menu here the quick rule menu and just make that repeatable so now we have uh, our base information uh, model here we can save this so now we want to maybe enhance this a little bit. So we have this registry ID of 12 digits. So we can go in and add in a, a number mask. Click here in the wizard. We have digits and we have 12 of those. And so that will uh, validate that. And then down here we have the longitude and latitude. So we want to add a rule again for that. Again, it's numeric. This time we have possibility of three digits and six decimal places. So we'll add that. And then those rules are sticky, so if we go back in here, it's remembered that what we just put on that first one, so we can set that uh, as well. And so on. So you can go ahead and validate on state codes and other such stuff. Okay, uh, we'll just give this a name. EPA Chemicals. And so... Now we're ready to go ahead and just test this. So what we're going to do is come up here, select the run option, run the template, and pick our uh, JSON source. So 
the uh, taxonomy for the template is JSON, so here it knows that we want to uh, use a JSON file, and that file happens to be in downloads, cam, EPA, and there's the file. So what Canvi is going to do is convert this JSON source into XML, uh, apply the XML template, and validate it. So we click uh, Finish, and we can see we have four errors here. So if we go into the console, we can see that the errors are that the horizontal collection method name appears uh, four times with no value in it. So we've got a choice here. We can either fix the data. Um, now the EPA is putting this out, so that's unlikely. Um, or we can make that nillable, uh, and then it will validate and, and pass uh, the checking that we have here. So we can go ahead and add a rule here. And we want to set that to make nillable somewhere. Make nillable. And so we can now save this. Clear out our errors, rerun, go to our downloads, cam, EPA, switch over, check this, and finish. And so this time, no errors. So now we have the ability to use CAMV to check the incoming JSON and actually convert it to XML. So other things that we might want to do is uh, view our data model. So we can view the template as a mind map using, if you install a mind map viewer such as FreeMind, and then come into your preferences here, you can associate that uh, program with the CAM editor. And now, when we run this, we'll be able to see our model here. And uh, I can just hit plus a couple of times. Move this over uh, one more time. We'll get the electronic address. And now we can see the complete data model that we're working with. So you could save that as a PDF, a JPEG, whatever. And then another thing that you might want to do is actually process this with uh, uh, Java. So you may want to create a schema. Uh, we'll call this EPA. Uh, generate a JAXB binding as well. Oh, sorry, I need a slash there. And so now uh, we've written uh, a schema and a JAXB binding. So you can open the XML source with your uh, JDeveloper or similar tool and start processing it that way. So this is just a quick introduction to showing you how you can use JSON with the CAM uh, family of uh, tools here, both the validation engine and uh, the editor. And uh, we will have more topics as well uh, on this uh, coming in the future. Thanks for watching.